What are you going to do about it? Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey is now joining Marjorie Taylor Greene, we believe. He's threatening to force a vote to oust House Speaker Mike Johnson over his foreign aid plan. Massey and Marjorie Taylor Greene both calling for Johnson to resign. Because, again, you're talking about money to Ukraine, to Israel, to Taiwan, with no new security at the border. Why not? Well, if you are a conservative, if you support Donald Trump for president, if you want to secure our southern border, the last thing you want to do, the most counterproductive thing you can do, the dumbest thing you could do is vacate the speaker's office six months before the most consequential election in American history. Our speaker is doing a great job, and he is the toughest border hawk in our entire conference. Speaker Johnson, under his leadership, is the one who brought H.R. 2. He is fighting for H.R. 2. He's the one who brought the impeachment against Mayorkas and successfully delivered it to the Senate, which is doing nothing. Speaker Johnson understands that we only control one half of one third of the government. But in order to deal with a very thin majority, when we don't have any help from the White House, we don't have any help from the Senate, you have to be tactical, you have to be smart, and we have to grow our majority. So this idea that somehow if we just vacate the speakership, we're going to secure the border, that is absurd. That is absurd. So, so uh, I, I, ho I, hope, I hope my colleagues who actually want to do something, who actually want to achieve okay. border security, don't do this. Congressman, real quick before you go, we're about six and a half months away from the election. Should we just pray that in the next six months nothing happens until Donald Trump can take this up? Well, look, we are very fortunate that we have very patriotic and effective um, Customs and Border Protection agents. Um, despite this administration, we have terrific law enforcement all across this country, and they're doing the best that they can under the circumstances. But the American people need to understand that our country is more vulnerable than ever, ever before, and that is on Joe Biden. If you want to secure our country, if you want to make our country safe, we need new leadership in the White House. Congressman, we'll be watching your work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Andy Barr in D.C. We'll be right back.